Hey guys, this is your friend Iggy back again. So today I'm going to show you guys how to install the Be Quiet Straight Power 11 1000 watt power supply, 80 plus gold. I'm going to remove this power supply that I've had for close to 10 years, the Cooler Master Silent Pro Gold 1200 watt. And uh, so with that, I'm going to be able to show you just how efficient this power supply is versus this one. I don't know if this one is efficient comparably. Now with that, again, I've been using this power supply for about 10 years or so. And as you can see right in here, and I'm going to include pictures as well in this, the cabling is horrible. Let me zoom in real quick and I can talk you through it. All right, so first off, you can see this horrible jumble of PCIe cables. So these are two 8-pin PCIe cables. Attached to one is a 6-pin. Attached to the other is another 6-pin. So it makes that bundle even thicker. And on top of that, you have the unsightly yellow and black. I want them all black so you can't see them. I'm sure you guys do too. Then back here, the ATX24 pin, you see the orange, the black, the gray, the yellow, the red, the green, the blue. It makes it so hard to hide anything in the unsightly thick ATX24 pin cable. Up here, you can see the 8 pin CPU power cable with that unsightly black and yellow mess. Okay, and that looks as good as I can clean it. Um, so then coming around the back, You can see down here that 8-pin CPU power cable comes across the back and then even though it's sheathed, it very thinly sheathed, you can still see the yellow and the black. Now again, this power supply is about 10 years old, maybe 8 years old, and back then, weren't really too concerned if anything with the power supply color cables. Uh, we are a lot more now. Again, that's not going to do anything with performance, but still, you want it to look beautiful. Okay, so this looks relatively okay. I didn't take a whole long time with it, but with the cables inside of the Be Quiet Straight Power 11 1000 watt, I should be able to make this look so much nicer. Okay, so just as an example, these two 8-pins, I can get that on one single cable. And I'll show you guys that during the cabling portion. I am also going to be introducing another one of these guys into the build. So I'm going to test it, which I already had, test it like I did for thermals and for wattage and everything. I tested how much this will consume. Okay, and mind you, it doesn't get anywhere near 1200 watts. The reason I got a 1200 watt is to protect me in the future for upgrades and for this and for that. I'm never going to have to buy another power supply unless that power supply dies. Okay, whereas if you bought, let's say, a 500 watt and then you get, for example, a Vega 64 uh, limited edition, like I reviewed, that requires, I believe it was a 750 watt you'd need to upgrade. Even though I didn't get to 750, it surpassed that 500 watt. So you would need to update that 500 watt power supply. Just spend a little bit more, get a higher wattage power supply. You don't need to go to 12, maybe not a thousand, maybe get an 850 or a 750, but something higher than a 500. But anyway, um, I am going to be adding one of these guys. So SLI. And uh, I'm going to be testing in single card and in SLI so you guys can see how much it consumes, how much more efficient potentially this power supply is. And uh, we'll see. So anyway, let's get started. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull all this apart and then we'll start doing the build. So I'll be right back.
So it's finally out. So let me put this away and I'll be right back. All right, so planning out my build a little bit. Of course, I have my Be Quiet power supply. I am going to be using two strands of PCIe cables. Remember, one strand connects, disconnects into the power supply. These are for the video card, so they have two eight pins, or they could be six pins. So, pretty cool there. So again, I'll be using two strands Whereas in the other power supply, I might have used four. Okay, and then I will be using two strands of SATA power cables. So if you remember, I have two SSDs down there because, well, unfortunately, with the open space that the Fractal Design Define R6 gives you, you lose some storage space and then two SSDs back here okay and then I will be slipping in through here and through here the P8 cable that you can't see because it's really dark but back there for the CPU power and then the ATX 24 pin right over here so these two cables right here so since this is completely modular, I'm just going to go ahead and start connecting them now. So motherboard, or should I say ATX pin, 24 pin, right here. And right here so again just in case right here and right here okay and then I'll connect the two PCIe cables and I'm going to connect it just as it's labeled here PCIe 1 PCIe 2 Just a little bit easier to read. PCIe 1. And then just under it, PCIe 2. And then the 8 pin CPU power, I'll be connecting right here to PCIe, oh, actually right here to P8, P4 and then now my two SATA connections right here And the other one just right next to it all right and I have all my bundle of cables so now I'm gonna go ahead and slide it down here I am gonna be putting the fan face down okay so now I'll just be installing the frame this houses the power supply into the case itself and then with the four screws provided by be quiet and we won't be tightening them completely tight just enough to get the threading in there and to get it secure and now that they're all in just tighten them. Okay. They're thumb screws. I didn't need to go that tight, but just went a little tight. Okay. So the first one I'm going to fit through right over here just to get it out of the way of 
everything else is the ATX 24 pin. It's always in the way. Just sliding it there for now. And then the 8 pin CPU power. Sliding it up there just for right now. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and find all those PCIe powers. All right, they're all right here. And I'm just going to fit them through the bottom here. Just going to slide them completely through just to get them out of the way of everything else. Just feeding everything through. <clears throat> okay, and then for SATA power, let's see. Let's go ahead and connect some of the cables for now. Oh, already, I'm loving it. Ah, you don't see all those ugly cables sticking out. Okay. Now the 8-pin, unfortunately I need to take you out just for one sec. <clears throat> okay, so already she looks, I mean aside from this, I have the ATX 24-pin and the P8 power for the CPU and you don't see it. <laughs> it looks beautiful so far. All right, sorry I'm a geek, but aren't we all? So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these through. It looks like the way these are gonna be connected is as soon as I put the second PCIe over, it's gonna be here and then over. So it's gonna go under and over both of the cards. And they are plenty long. So now I'm just going to go ahead and undo this. So when I record is when everybody makes the most noise. Now the neighbors are mowing their lawn. Those are the same neighbors that always take their dogs out when I'm recording. So sorry about that background noise, guys. Okay, and I take off the uh, PCIe protection for these guys right here. Don't touch them. Now they are slightly different cards, uh, just in the fact that the cover is green on this one, the cover is black on this one. Aside from that, they're the identical cards. Okay, now that that's in, I'm gonna go ahead and screw it back in. And then the SLI bridge, the Z370 EVGA board came with. Okay, and now we'll go ahead and connect the cables. Just situating them so they look nicer. And I hope that if anything, you know, even though this is basic wiring, hopefully if anything it helps somebody out, at least with some ideas on how to cable their own machines, especially with the Be Quiet Straight Power 11 1000 watt power supply. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just pull these through so they get a little tension. Keep you right here so you can see it. All right, so she looks a lot better now. So now what I'm going to do is just zip tie these together like that. It's a Tuesday. Who mows their lawn on a Tuesday?
my neighbor does, that's who does. All right, now I'm just gonna pull those cables a little bit more. So it's about as tight as they're gonna get. And man, she looks beautiful. Look at that. I can even put the glass on with no issues whatsoever. Just in case you didn't know, this comes with a glass side panel, this particular case. Okay, so now I'm going to grab the SATA power. The great thing about this, unlike any other power supply, well, should I say the Cooler Master, is this single cable will attach to here and to here. Even if I wanted to do it like this, and it still works, I tested it real quick before, but actually what I'm going to do is connect this one and here, like this, and then use this power for the fans, for the fan headers. So just connect it like this. And now connect the fan headers. Okay, and connecting this gives this controller here power so that it can power the front two fans and the rear fan. So now this extra last cable is going to feed the two SSDs that I had to throw in the bottom over here. These two are connected and again, since I don't really have a home for them, they're not there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, you see all this connected and all this connected. I'm just gonna pretty it up a little bit. Do, I'm gonna do that off of camera and then I'll be right back. All right guys, so here she is, all done. Okay, around the back. Not incredibly pretty, but it is the back solid side panel. So I don't typically concern myself with the back too much. Coming around the front. All right, so we can see just how beautiful she looks right here all four PCIe by eight cables or they're by six depending on your video cards but and then of course slid under precisely so they don't hit the fans you have to be careful with that and then the SLI ribbon cable uh, I'll probably end up buying or getting from EVGA a nicer looking ribbon cable then the eight pin CPU power right up there and of course the 24 pin which is always an eyesore but on this she just looks beautiful and then of course we have the SSDs just kind of thrown in there again because of the open design if it's closed you have six drives you can put here either 3.5 or 2.5 you can also put two drives here but then you'd have to get rid of the true drives here so totally up to you I'd prefer to keep them back here out of sight out of mind and then of course completely out of sight out of mind down there but anyway again this was just to show you how to cable with the be quiet straight power 11 1000 watt and uh, that's about it for now dig you out See you guys. Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. For more information, visit bit.ly slash dbdisclose. To have your product or brand showcased on Dragon Blogger, visit bit.ly slash review my product. Thank you for watching.